Hey guys, this is question MM096 of the Maths Methods Sharp and Study Guide. I forgot what it was called for a second. I've said it so many times that you'd think I'd remember by now. A man standing at point A fires a model rocket into the air, which follows a traje trajectory modelled by the equation h of x equals negative 2x squared plus 40x take 120, uh, where h is the height of the rocket above the ground and x is the horizontal distance from the man's house at O. Cool. So the man's house is here. Uh, a is where the man is standing and B is where the rocket lands. Awesome. So, what is the maximum height that the rocket reaches? <clears throat> so what we're talking about here is this point here, which uh, I'm sure you can see is also the turning point. Uh, the turning point, basically we need to find out how high this section here is. That's going to be the height. And how do we figure that out? Well, uh, we have the equation of the graph, uh, and we also know how to find the x-coordinate of a turning point, which is equal to negative b over 2a, where b is 40, so we have negative 40 over 2 times a, which is negative 2, so negative 4, and that is equal to 10, which means that this point here is 10. However, that is not our answer. We're looking for the height of the rocket, not the horizontal distance uh, at that point. So from here, we can sub 10 in for x, which gives us negative 2, 10 squared, plus 40 times 10, whoop, minus 120. Uh, and what that gives us is negative 20 plus 400, take away 120. Oh, my bad. This is meant to be a squared here, uh, which means that is negative 200 plus 400 minus 120, which gives us uh, 80. So that gives us 80 meters. Do not forget the meters on the end, okay? Because the question is asking us, what is the maximum height that the rocket reaches? And you can't have a height without any units. Never forget units. So this is our final answer and it is a simply a one mark question so we can simply write h of 10 equals 80 meters. So part b is asking us how far away from the man does the rocket land? Uh, so basically what we're trying to figure out is this point here at b. Now where does b occur? On the x-axis. What is on the x-axis? The x-intercepts. So what do we need to do? Find out what the coordinates are of the x-intercepts. So let's do that. We've got h of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 40x take 120. And for the x-intercepts, we need to let y equal 0. So 0 equals negative 2x squared plus 40x take 120. And we have a common factor of 2 here. So 2 times negative x squared uh, plus 20x take 60 uh, is equal to 0 and the two can cancel. So we end up with zero equals negative x squared plus 20x take 60. Awesome. Uh, now what? Now we need to find what x equals. So this is not a simple uh, factorization process. So what do we need to use? The quadratic formula. Where the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared take 4ac over 2a. Now, you will remember this off the top of your head as time goes on. Uh, if you are coming up to your exams now and you're not sure about this, get used to it. Try and memorize it. Uh, the only way you're going to do that is by doing practice questions. So, uh, our B value is 20. So, negative 20 plus minus square root of B squared, which is 20. So, 20 squared, which is... I'll write it in first. So, 20 squared minus... 4 times a, which is negative 1, times c, which is negative 60. And over 2 times negative 1. So you end up with negative 20 plus minus the square root of 400, uh, a negative, a negative, and a negative, equals a negative, uh, minus 240 over negative 2. <clears throat> so, what we end up with is we can cancel these negatives down here and we get uh, 10 plus minus the square root, actually let's not do that first, 
So we'll keep it as uh, just a positive. So 20 plus minus the square root of 160 over two. So all I've done here is just cancel these negatives out uh, and the positive and negative here don't get affected because they would just swap and be the same anyway. Uh, cool, so this being a third, uh, we can actually simplify this. So this is the same as 16 times 10, which means that we can bring the square root of 16 out the front, which is four. So that's the same as four root 10. Over two, these twos can cancel each other, which gives 10 plus minus two root 10, which means that A is equal to 10 minus two root 10, and B is equal to 10 plus two root 10. Awesome. Now, do not fall into the trap of saying that 10 plus two root 10 is the distance away from the man, because it's not. As you can see here, B is the distance away from the house at O, but we're actually looking for the distance from the man, which is this section here. So the way we figure that out is B minus A. So we know that B is 10 plus two root 10. We know that A is 10 minus two root 10. So to find the distance between the two, we minus B off, or A off B. So we get the distance from A to B equals 10 plus two root 10 minus 10 take two root 10. 10 minus 10 cancels out to zero. Two root 10 plus, so these two negatives make a plus. Two root 10 plus two root 10 is equal to four root 10. And that is not simplifiable uh, anymore. So that equals four root 10 meters, which is our final answer. And you should never simplify this unless it asks for decimal places. So that is our final answer. That is a question worth three marks. The third mark obviously being here. Um, your first mark being here, simplifying that. And then the second mark being here. So you working that out there and then working out the distance is the third mark. So your final answer is distance from A to B or from the man uh, to where the rocket lands is four root 10 meters.